today I'm going to do a chicken in creamy mushroom sauce. But the difference with this is that I'm using a leftover chicken breast, leftover potatoes. Just a couple things I found in the fridge. And I just wanted to show you in this meal how I reconstituted it, making it look like a beautiful, freshly cooked chicken breast. So here I have my uh, cold chicken breast, I have my green onions, I have some whipping cream, which is going to be the basis of my sauce, uh, fresh mushrooms. I have cooked potatoes from the other day. I'm actually going to slice them and use them on my plate, kind of like home fries. And uh, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of margarine, and uh, olive oil for cooking. Okay, so let's slice up the mushrooms and the uh, potatoes for home fries. I'll cook the home fries first, the potatoes, because I can always move them aside. That way, everything's warm and hot at the same time. I'm not waiting on the potatoes to finish, you know, for, uh, and my chicken sitting there. So this is a better way. So that chicken breast, what I did actually was slice uh, basically right down to the bone. I left the chicken breast whole, but I didn't cut right through. The only reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to put it in a pan with the sauce. It's going to sort of uh, take on some of the flavors uh, via the steam when it's in the pan and I have the lid on. And then after service, I'll pour that sauce right in into those uh, slivers and it'll be amazing. So I've chopped up my uh, onions here as well. Potatoes are uh, done. So when the potatoes are done, I'm going to uh, take them out of the pan and replace them in the same pan with the mushrooms and the chicken. I just brush it with a little bit of oil again and all I'm doing here is sauteing, actually sort of steaming slash sauteing the mushrooms and the chicken breast is sitting in there. Mushrooms give off a lot of flavor and a lot of moisture and as you can see in the pan here that's exactly what that is. So that's steaming and all that flavor is going back into the chicken. When my mushrooms are cooked I'm adding my whipping cream. Whipping cream uh, brought to a boil and then brought back down to a reduction is a sauce. It's a cream sauce. In but you need flavorful ingredients you know to make it you know a nice sauce actually so we've got that with these mushrooms here so I brought the uh, cream and uh, the mushroom um, broth basically up to a boil and I'm now reducing that I'm adding a little bit of Parmesan cheese for an extra uh, for extra flavor into the sauce everything's sort of bubbling here at this point now so I've taken off the lid adding my green onions and now we'll just uh, let that all cook together until my sauce is a perfect consistency. At this point you can be tasting it with your spoon to um, you know test for flavor, add salt, pepper, maybe even more cheese if you if you have to because that's a really solid um, uh, flavor enhancer. And uh, while that was uh, reducing here I set up my plate my my home fries are warm because I left I just left them on a little you know pie plate stuck them in the oven so they're warm I'm taking them out I'm rounding out a few w uh, on the plate right in the middle laying my chicken on top and as you can see it's sort of it's warm like it that chicken breast is hot now and it's absorbed all those flavors I just pulled it out of the pan rested on the potatoes and I poured my beautiful mushroom sauce over top of the chicken oh my god look at that I ate that and that was just excellent. Listen, go to a restaurant and order that. You'll pay 30 bucks. You won't even know it's a day old and you'll say, oh my God, I'm coming back here. That's how good that was.